other. Well, this time it's an opening and review, or a showcase and review, but it's actually an opening and review of one of the Super Impulse 2018 World's Smallest Mystery Box. It's been a while since I did a vid, like over a week now. I've had a lot of stuff going on. Um, just personal stuff going on. I've tried to um, get around to doing some videos, but I've had a lot, you know, going on, so it's been really hard to do. But I'm going to get back in the mode now. Whenever I have a chance to do a video, I'm going to definitely post some up. I have some uh, retro showcase and reviews to do, actually quite a bit of them. Um, I have, like, reaction figures to do. I still have those, like, Funko Batman figures to do. I have so much stuff to do um, that you guys are going to be happy that I have a lot of content um, coming up on this channel because eventually it's all going to be posted up. Um, but I had to do this because I picked this up in the checkout um, lane at uh, in the checkout aisle um, where you go to check out you know your groceries or whatever you're picking up um, your items at Walmart. Um, and I saw these world's smallest uh, mystery boxes and wow, are they so cool. Um, the cool thing about them is that you can get um, either Hot Wheels, um, something from Fisher Price. Um, actually it looks like, let's see what's Fisher Price here. Yeah, a chatter phone from Fisher Price. Um, you can get the Rubik's Cube. Um, uh, that's uh, a Duncan Toys uh, Doodle Top, I think it is. I'm not sure. Um, Mattel Games, Magic 8-Ball, uh, Gumby, and then uh, Doodle Top. Um, I think Etch-A-Sketch is Doodle Top, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, and then you have uh, Spin Master and Barbie that you can get out of this. So we'll take a look at the box here, but uh, I'm just reading off the uh, licenses they have on this box. It's going to be kind of hard to see because it's such a small um, box. But I want to thank everybody who subscribed lately to my channel, dropped any comments, left any feedback. I really appreciate all the support here on my channel, guys. And like I said, I have much more to come. Um, that little delay that week um, off there doesn't happen very often. Um, so I at least tried to get a bit up like every three days or so. So I'm going to do a lot better on posting videos um, after that little um, sabbatical there. Um, but now let's check out the uh, world's smallest mystery box and see what I got. I'm interested to see it. Okay, everybody. So here we have the Super Impulse world's smallest mystery box here from 2018 that I picked up from Walmart in the checkout lane there that I was talking about. And you can see there. Magic 8-Ball, Etch-A-Sketch, Fisher-Price, um, actually says Fisher-Price, Chatter Telephone under there. So small though, this box is so small. It says Mystery Item on the top, Collect Them All. I'm very interested to see what I get here. You can see the Super Impulse logo up to the left, and the World's Smallest logo. They are just very, very small. They're exactly what they say. They are the World's Smallest, um, you know, Hot Wheels, Rubik's Cubes. Um, different um, items from past pulp culture is what I really like. And uh, I love retro stuff, so this was right up my alley. And um, you can see on the box here you have more um, Army Men, a little Polaroid camera keychain. It doesn't actually work, it says there. Um, does not take pictures, but it is a little keychain. You have a uh, Duncan Yo-Yo, I think is what that is. Uh, Barbie doodle top there um, you can see the Rubik's Cube and Hot Wheel there and it says yes actually works but they do you know put a little warning under like the Polaroid camera obviously isn't going to take little pictures which would be sweet if it did and there's all the licenses that I was reading off earlier um, which I may have um, got incorrect um, but there you see all the items that are available in this one you can get the Etch-A-Sketch uh, the Little Green Army Men Hot Wheels, uh, one of three styles it says there, a Rubik's Cube, I'm interested to see if the Rubik's Cube obviously works, and then you have your uh, Chatter Phone, your Duncan Yo-Yo, one of three colors, uh, looks like an old school Barbie, um, made in the old school style, maybe a new one too, I don't know, maybe two different styles, a Magic 8 Ball, and then your Polaroid Keychain there. And I like the world's smallest logo with the ant, you know, lifting it up on his back. So, because, you know, ants can just carry some astronomical weight for their size. So that's pretty cool to use that as a logo. Uh, a little rip down here in the bottom. Looks like they may have taped it, but uh, I'm sure that the package, if it's unopened inside, I'm fine with that. But 
you have here that uh, colors and style may vary, it says. Keep packaging for future reference. Um, like checklist and whatnot. And then it has um, doodle top, wash skin thoroughly in case of contact. Huh. Super Impulse logo. Super Impulse Limited there. So, very cool. So now, um, I'm going to bust this open. And we'll see what I got here. I'm just going to bust it down here where this tape already is. Might as well. I can. Maybe I should have uh, stopped the tape to do this, but get this tape off of there. <laughs> so, got the tape off now. And let's see what I got. Yeah, it's still in the packaging, so that's all I care. Let's see what I got in it. Feels like, hmm, I'm not sure what it is. I'm going to have to see here. But here's the packaging. Right off the bat, I can't exactly tell you what it is. There's the uh, question marks on there for mystery pack. And on the back here, you have world's smallest. There's a little mystery uh, question marks there, too. Has the warning there. Keep away from children. There's only little uh, labels and warnings there. Pretty sweet. I'm not sure if there's like codes and stuff on these that you can tell which one you're going to get, but I know there's codes and stuff on all the other mystery packs, but let's bust them open now and check out um, what we have in here. Okay, so wow, am I really, really happy. Um, I'm a big Hot Wheels collector. As you can see, I have many Hot Wheels up on the wall back there and stuff hanging around. So I'm a big Hot Wheels fan, and I got the world's smallest hot wheels and this is like in the classic card back style too they give you like a carded version i'm a carded uh figure collector and hot wheels collector so it's awesome that they give you like a carded version of the world's smallest hot wheel and uh there it is right there man just very sweet looks like a little hot rod one of three styles i really like that style too wow i'm really digging this um, and it says uh, Mattel Hot Wheels. So small. Hope it's coming over camera all right. Uh, it says Hot Wheels fastest metal cars in the world by Mattel. Uh, so officially licensed there. It's awesome. It says matching collector's button. Oh, so that's supposed to be like a little... It's not an actual button, but a, I guess they used to have buttons on them back in the day. But then the it's like a hard case. Like it's not like plastic, so that's very cool. And they do um, put a little hole in there. And I'm thinking that I could punch through there and add that to my carded wall. Just uh, punch a uh, thumbtack right through there. Um, but I'm going to do something with this because it's very sweet. And I love, like it's raised up to the car is there on the back. I don't know if you can see. Wow, I love the packaging of this. And on the back, it's going to be hard to, uh, hopefully it's going to, I can get it over camera okay. But it says, uh, miniature cars, California style, exclusive uh, torsion bar suspension, go faster, roll farther on Mattel Hot Wheels action set. So it's just like the bag. All Hot Wheels include most of these features. Wild California custom colors. Mag wheels and power bulges and pipes, it says there. Collect them all. Be sure to see Mattel's exciting Hot Wheels action sets wherever they are sold. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just like, you know, um, the packaging from back in the day. And it says Hot Wheels, fastest metal cars in the world again there. And I like the illustration of the car there. So, very sweet. Definitely going to have to add this to the... Uh, Hot Wheels uh, playlist that I have. Yeah, I'll put that up in the right. I have several different Hot Wheels. Um, I'm going to try to get some good lighting on this guy and see if we can see this car a little better, though. Okay, so I'm over here, and it's so small. I wanted to try to get some of the detail and everything. I saw I'm in front of this light, so I think you can see it a little bit better than it was. But, wow, really neat. I'm really happy that I got this. Um... Of all the things, really, I thought the Hot Wheel would have been really cool to get. So, 
Like I said, I wasn't sure at first exactly what this was either. But yeah, guys, I appreciate everybody checking this out. If you like what you saw, make sure you um, hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. Um, make sure you share this with all your friends if you like it too. And here's a little, um, I'm not going to pop this open, but they do have a little spot here where you can actually take this out. Wait a minute here. I think I can take him out and put him right back in. Okay. Wow, we found something else. So give me a second. Okay, so yeah, this really helps. I noticed that you could pop that open so it's like case friendly too where you can bust open the back there take him right off the card there and you know handle it and check it out for real on the inside without opening it up i wasn't going to bust it open or try to get it out i didn't even know if it could come out but nonetheless we get to look at the actual car itself here and like i said they're so small that sorry about that they're so small that i'm trying to get a good shot with the um, light here yeah, but like I was saying before, make sure you hit that uh, like button if you like what you saw. Drop a comment down below. Remind me of Micro Machines um, being this small, by the way. And yeah, um, I appreciate all the support and all the feedback here on the channel. And as always, guys, until next time, I hope you like this opening and review of the Super Impulse World's Smallest Mystery Box or Blind Box or whatever you want to call it. Um, very cool getting the Hot Wheels. So, yeah, I'm going to put it right back in the uh, case and display it with my stuff. And until next time, guys, as always, peace out and keep collecting.